Ohio State has one of the most talented quarterback rooms in all of college football. Again, as we enter the 2021 season, essentially, as spring ball is going on right now, and the spring game is coming up April 17th, I believe, right now. And uh, I know everyone's excited to see every quarterback uh, at Ohio State display what they have to, to show as they look to replace Justin Fields. And I want to take this video to break down some of the high school film of C.J. Stroud, Cal McCord, and Jack Miller and see what they bring to the table. They have similar traits, uh, but they also have you know differences that, that, that can separate them as, as well. And some are better than others and at certain with certain tools. And I want to dive into, those, into the film and kind of break them down a little bit. But before we do that, I just want to kind of plug our channel extremely quick. And if you like any quarterback-related content, whether it's film breakdowns like we're about to do or just kind of quarterback interviews or how we screen and assess quarterbacks in our process in the weight room please give us a subscription or at least consider giving us a subscription and like this video if you like it comment if you like it we love to interact and just let us know how we can do better enough of me plugging the channel let's go ahead and dive into the actual video so we're going to go through cj stroud first going to watch some of his film what he does well then we're going to watch kyle mccord watch what he does well, and then we're going to watch Jack Miller and see what he does well. And I just want to break down their film. I don't want to talk about who's leading the competition and who's doing what. There's plenty of good articles out there if you're into that. Let's just look at their high school film and see what they bring to the table and look at all their tools. And regardless who wins this competition down the road, I think Ohio State's in a great position quarterback-wise because they have so much talent around them, and each quarterback has a lot of talent and a lot of good tools they bring to the table. Enough of me talking. Let's dive into the film, starting with C.J. Stroud, then we'll go Kyle McCord, and then we'll go with Jack Miller. So here we're going to see a good example of Stroud again in the pocket and throwing outside the numbers on a about 10 inch yard out here. But watch him take the hit and deliver the ball. It shows good anticipation, good feel in his throws, but just the ability to make a throw outside the number and take a hit. Just a good example here. We'll go ahead and watch this clip. Takes a shot, throws a receiver, can get it. Good ball. So here's a good demonstration of C.J. Stroud's ability as a runner and where he could potentially uh, set himself even even further apart from the, uh, the competition because of his ability to do this, make guys miss, and pull away with his speed. We'll go ahead and watch this clip. Watch him make this backer miss right here. Oop, makes a miss, gets upfield, and we see the acceleration come into play. Good job there. So here's one of three plays that we're actually going to watch back to back to back showing his uh, ability to throw outside the pocket but also to improvise and just make a play when there's nothing there. So we'll go ahead and watch this first play here. This is getting out of trouble. Of course, you don't want to go backwards in college, but again, this shows the skill set that he's able to, uh, to do that. Next play, we're going to see him roll out and throw on the run here. Pressure comes, eyes downfield, delivers an accurate ball. Receiver is able to take it to the house for a touchdown. And we'll watch one more clip of him rolling out. Again, none of these were designed rollouts. This is athleticism making a play. Good zip on his pass there, too. Great clip here from McCord showing his ability to maneuver within the pocket. Uh, good footwork in the pocket. Eyes downfield and throws absolute strike. Let's go ahead and watch this clip. Climbs the pocket, eyes downfield. Good ball down the middle. Again, good clip here of uh, McCord moving in the pocket and finding a good throwing lane here. Watch how he sets up his throwing lane. Eyes downfield, moves in the pocket, throwing lane right here. Good ball, but good job in the pocket. Another great job of McCord showing his feel uh, for being in the pocket and his good pocket uh, awareness and pocket presence, maneuvering in the pocket, eyes downfield, and being able to throw from a different arm angle due to the pass rush. We'll go ahead and watch this clip. Eyes downfield, arm angle. 
<clears throat> Good ball. Here's a tough throw, uh, looking easy for Kyle McCord. It's a 40-ish yard strike down the middle of the field, down this left hash that we're going to see. And just watch his ability to, his ability to effortlessly throw a strike right here. It makes a, a tough throw look relatively easy for him. Just a very natural, smooth thrower. We're going to watch the play. Good ball down there. Is McCord again demonstrating his arm strength and his ability to push the ball downfield from right hash to the right about outside the numbers um, on the on the left side of the field. Let's go ahead and watch this clip. Three step drop, quick hitch, perfect ball there. So here's a great example of Kyle McCord showing that he himself has the ability to uh, to make plays when nothing is there and throw on the run outside the pocket. We're going to see his arm strength on display here, throwing nearly 50 yards in the air on a line for the most part. I'd consider this a, a two ball, uh, but his ability to escape, one, is something to look for in this play, and then two, is his, uh, his arm strength on the run outside the pocket. But again, a good clip showing that he has the ability, just like the other two, uh, to make plays outside the pocket. Watch this arm strength. That's a shot in the line. Here's one of my favorite clips of Miller and, and watching his film. And it does a good job of kind of demonstrating everything he does well. His toughness, ability to throw on the run and throw accurately. We're going to see him roll out, take a shot, but deliver a very good ball on the run. Uh, but watch the hit that he takes here. Rolls out, eyes are downfield, takes a shot. That's a good ball. Good job by Miller showcasing his athleticism and ability to throw on the run as he rolls out the pocket to the left. Watch this good tight throw as well. Eyes downfield, receiver comes open. Good ball. Good demonstration of Miller's athleticism to uh, make a play when the play breaks down. We see pressure gets to him. He breaks outside the pocket, eyes downfield. Breaks a few tackles to get outside the pocket and throws a good ball downfield. We're going to watch the clip. Makes a tackle, boom, eyes downfield, throws a good ball, the guy coming back, good job. Here's a long out route throw from Jack Miller, about the right half of the field, throws a deep out, shows good velocity in the ball, and this ability to throw this long throw. One of the toughest throws quarterbacks can make is this deep out from the opposite hash. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Again, good job going outside the numbers. Good ball and good coverage. Here's a design run or a little RPO here where we see Miller keep it. Shows that he's got good mobility and, and, and plenty of athleticism to be a threat in the run game as well at Ohio State. Good job getting upfield. So again, just a few clips from each quarterback that demonstrates what they do well and what they bring to the table. Again, a lot of similarities. They all can make throws down the middle of the field. They can all make throws outside the numbers. They all have enough mobility to get outside and throw on the run. They all can have good footwork within the pocket. They're very well polished. and uh, So similar tools, and, and, and some may have a higher talent in one tool area than the other, but they all have enough tools that can make them successful in Ohio State's offense. They all fit that offense extremely well. So just a few clips to kind of demonstrate what they bring to the table. And if you are looking for a video that has more kind of background on each person or maybe talks about the competition in general more, there's a good YouTube video I found uh, that I will link below. And um, 
if you want to click on that and kind of watch more detail if you haven't seen it already. But again, I'll link it below so you can kind of click on it and get more detail for each person. This was kind of just what this video was just kind of more along the lines of what each quarterback does well from a film standpoint. So again, if you like this video, please consider giving us a subscription, comment, like, we love to interact. We'll continue to get better and we see we'll see you next time.